Hi, Charlie Rodman here, Austin criminal defense attorney, and I have always wanted to talk about the, the psychological stages that I watch my clients go through when they get arrested uh, from the beginning of the case to the end of it. Ethically and confidentiality issues, I can't really talk about specific cases and clients. Until today, I am going to talk about one of my client's cases, and that client is me. I got charged with a crime. Stage one, shock and denial. So here's what happened. I get home one day and my wife says, you got a letter from AISD police. And they say that I ran a, a past a bus that had the stop sign out. And I said, that's impossible. I would never do that. And, I mean, I got kids that ride those buses. I don't do things like that. Stage two, seeing the evidence. The letter has a little website where you can go look at a video. And I was very excited to see how I was being falsely accused. And then I watched this video. As you can see right here, right, I'm in the gray Honda. And uh, oh boy, it does look like I went past uh, that. Stage three, all the excuses you can think of. I've got excuses. I mean, I'll tell you, it was the other car's fault. You know, there's a mailbox off to the right. I'm watching this other white car. It wasn't intentional because they're sort of moving weirdly and moving off to the right. The bus is kind of in a weird spot. The bus is a little bit hidden. There's some trees around there when I'm turning left. Now, of course, the problem is neither, neither of those are, are excuses, right? You don't, that's not a, a defense to driving past a bus that you weren't paying close attention. Stage four finding out the consequences. Well, what is this, like a, a $50 fine, a $75 fine? $300. Ooh, it's a $300 fine. Okay, yuck, I don't like that. Stage five, anger, frustration, cynicism. AISD, they don't even care about our students. They're not trying to educate our students. They just want to set up traps and catch, you know, innocent people like me accidentally breaking the law. That's, of course, nonsense. Uh, the consequences are there to negative reinforce this happening again. So they, they want to make sure that if I see a school bus, that I'll, my brain somewhere in the back of it will go, don't cost us another $300. Stage six, Thinking about all the ways you can fight it. Is there any way I can talk my way out of it? it says you can have a, a meeting with an AISD police officer, and even though I'm professionally a defense attorney and a persuasive person, I don't think I'm going to convince this person who's professionally also there to say no, that not paying close enough attention is not an excuse to paying the fines. The other possibility is I could go there and claim it wasn't me. All, I could come up with stuff to lie, but I'm not going to do that. Stage seven, depression. Ugh, okay, um, nothing else I can do here. I'm stuck. Stage eight, delay. I, I've actually had this ticket and letter for long enough. They sent me another one, and now I owe them $325. Yuck, I don't like that. Stage nine, acceptance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did this. It won't happen again. Here we go. Robot. And a service fee of sixteen twenty-five. There we go. I'm done. I'm done with this issue. AISD can get off my back, and maybe my wife too. Please. As much fun as it was making this video, uh, don't drive past school buses. That's dangerous. My kids ride them too. They have videos. They're gonna catch you on video if you do it. Okay. All right. I hope this is somewhat helpful. Just sort of seeing the different stages that people go through for for different cases. I mean, this, this applies to all types of cases. The ultimate goal is to get to some acceptance of the consequences so you can continue to move past and, and move on with your life. All right, hope that helps. Yuck.